Hi, I'm Ignaty Vishnevetsky of Mubi.com, and welcome to Roger Ebert Presents at the Movies. My usual co-host, Christy Lemire, cannot be here today, as she is interviewing Judd Nelson at a 26th anniversary screening of The Breakfast Club in Pacoima, California. So I'm pleased to welcome, across the aisle for me today, my co-host for the day, Jeff Wells of HollywoodElsewhere.com. What's up, Boris? How are you doing today? Very well, Jeff. How are you? I'm terrific. Let's get on with it. Very well. Today our first film is Certified Copy. Now, some films make decisions. Other films make choices. Directors can make decisions, like putting on this tie, for example, is a decision. I'll give you a decision about my clothing. I was at a gay store in West Hollywood trying on new clothes, and I f happened upon a nice red jacket. A red jacket, Jeffrey? That's right, a red jacket. Are you enjoying it? I'm wearing it with my yellow shoes. Those are some delightful yellow shoes. I feel a splash of color in a man's life. It's just a good thing for the soul. This is a red jacket that's reminiscent of the one that Burt Reynolds wore when he jumped the bridge with Ski and Hooper. I believe I saw Hooper on the Criterion Collection DVD. Let's face it, the movie gods have spoken no matter what Joe and Jane Popcorn say, and it's clear and obvious to anyone that Social Network winning Best Picture would have just been good for the soul. Okay, Jeff, that was terrific. What, do you have any opinions on certified copy? No, I don't. I actually went to the film theater to see it, but in fact it was a mommy matinee on a Monday morning. Our next film is Your Highness, directed by David Gordon Green and starring Danny McBride of East Bound and Down. I found parts of this film funny, and other parts perhaps not as funny. I don't want to hear anything good about this film. Now, Danny McBride is toenail fungus, and we all know that nobody who's a fat guy is ever funny. It's just not funny. My video pick of the week is Panther Pachali, the 1961 Ozu classic, available in a sparkling new tr I don't even know what that is, Boris. My spider antennae are telling me that Malik's Tree of Life isn't perhaps the go-for-broke masterpiece I've been expecting. That's <laughs> Jeff, you certainly are terrific. Thanks a lot. Hey, Yakov Smirnoff, you seem to be a New York kind of guy. Do you know Greta Gerwig? I don't know Greta Gerwig, but I do enjoy her work in mumblecore films of the Duplass. I'll tell you what, I had lunch with Greta Gerwig, and she's fetching. She's the finest thing in the history of the human race. They should change the name of the movie from Arthur to Gerwig, perhaps with an exclamation point, and just detail her travails around New York City, hobnobbing with movie journalists who wear yellow shoes. Jeff, do you have any opinions on the new Channing Tatum film, The Eagle? I didn't see it. I was going to see it. The screening was postponed because my Wi-Fi connection wasn't working, so instead I stormed into the nearby theater showing a mommy matinee of the social network, and I'll tell you what, we need to just move in like the Stasi at the Rhineland and force them out. It just has to be done. Sometimes a good purge is good for the soul.